Good morning, BUHS. Today is October 10th. Good morning, USA. I got a feeling that it's gonna be a wonderful day. The sun in the sky has a smile on his face, and he's shining a salute to the American race. Oh boy, it's well to say, good morning, USA. Uh, uh, well. On October 10th, the community pumpkin carve is happening uh, at the Cheshire County Fairground <laughs> from 4.30 to 6.30. The pumpkins will be provided. We Just bring a carving kit and your creativity. The pumpkins will be used in the Keen Pumpkin Fest. You did, a good awesome. job. you did a good job there. I had to improvise. Yeah. There's a Vermont Sugar Maple Tour happening near Chat Family Lodge on November 24th. The event is happening in Stowe, Vermont on 700 Chap Hill. Uh, adults are $15, children are $5, and children under 5 are free. Come to the trap to trap some fun. Now to the weather with Dylan. Hey guys, if you turned in the last week's <laughs> episode, you would have known that I got my weather mixed up. I was, uh, I was tuned in to Washington, D.C. So, I hope it's better now. It's, uh, today it's supposed to be 62, it was a high, 45 is a low, and then tomorrow... It's going to be 55 as a high, 47 as a low. These three days are going to be awfully cloudy. Saturday is going to be 60 degrees as a high and 44 as a low. Back to the desk. Thank you, Don. Thank you for that nice weather. Uh, on October 31st, there will be townwide trick-or-treating taking place from 6 p.m. until 10 p.m. Because it is Halloween. Makes sense. Uh, bring your pillowcases or whatever you use to collect candy to collect some candy and celebrate the spooky season. Can't wait. Can't wait. I have to dress up with something cool. What are you thinking? Uh, can't say it on air. Yeah, fair enough. Okay. <laughs> well, there's a new star in the NFL. His name is Gardner Minshew. He's a starting quarterback for the Jacksonville Jaguars. He's the best mustache you'll ever see. Minshew Mania is taking over the world and is dancing around his locker room with only his jock strap. If you purchase a mini pack to the Jags Saints game and or Jags Jets game, you'll get a free bandana, mustache, and an on-field picture with him. If you don't know Gardner Minshew, you might want to find out who this stud is. Now, to sports with Brandon. Hello, it's Brandon with the sports. Today we have a girls varsity field hockey game against Springfield High School at four. Also today, we have both boys and girls varsity soccer playing against Springfield and Stratton Mountain. On Friday, we have a boys and girls cross country CVC championship meet. Our six and zero varsity football team has a senior night home game this Friday at seven o'clock against Fairhaven. Be there for support. Right back to the desk. Thank you for the sports, Brandon. That was, that was truly you're just, great. You're very good at the sports, Brandon. You should do it every time, I think. I think so. Anyways, uh, the Gaines Farm is now open, so go on down to Guilford to uh, go on a hayride or through the corn, corn maze. It's neat. I haven't been yet. Have you been yet? I haven't been. I heard no. it's scary, though. Yeah, I don't like scary things. All right, so the Brattleboro Area Farmer's Market only has a few weeks left. The market is open every Saturday from 9 a.m. to 2 p.m. located on Western Ave. So go buy some local produce, bread, food, and much more while you still can. Now to the special with Sierra. Okay, so today we have a few questions for some of our German students that recently came in. So our first question is, what is your personal favorite place in Germany that you've ever been? Just <laughs> I think it's just... Being home, being in Leipzig, for me, Leipzig is the most beautiful city in Germany ever. True. All the green, nice places, very tourist-friendly, and just a great town. Yeah, totally agree. <laughs> have either of you ever been to America before? No. I have, when I was seven, but can't remember no. much about it. <laughs> um, is there anywhere that you would like to visit while you're here in America? Yeah, we would like to go to New York, but it's too expensive for our exchange, so that's a bit sad, but... It's okay. And how long are you guys going to be here for? Uh, we're going to stay till the 25th of October. And were you scared when you guys were coming here? Not really, except of the security check at the airport, because uh, we know that it's a bit strict, but it wasn't that 
hard. <laughs> and what was your biggest surprise when you guys came here? I think just seeing the town, seeing that like a perfect cliche of an American small town <laughs> and all the houses and the nature is so pretty and that really was a positive surprise. Yeah. And that's all we have. So back to the desk. Um, there you go. Well, it's a little now. bit about the uh, the exchange students. Yeah, I might have to go to Germany now. Maybe. Who knows? Uh, maybe, it's a long maybe plane not. ride. Yeah, I don't, I don't know. No, I don't like that. Um, All right. Uh, celebrate the volunteer producers who create thousands of hours of local content to share in cable and online at BrattleboroTV.org. That happens to be us. Open to the public, there's a light dinner that's going to be served. You can learn about BCTV and how you can become a video producer. It will be on October 24th at 118 Elliott Street in downtown Brattleboro. Now to World News with Forrest. See ya. Hey, this is World News with Julius and I. Um, yesterday, a 27-year-old man attacked a synagogue in the city of Holland near Leipzig, Germany, and killed two people and wounded a few. Um, the attacker fled and got into a car crash and later was arrested by the police. It was also found that he recorded the shooting on a GoPro and police recovered the video and say that he was a far right or had neo-Nazi beliefs. Back to the boys. Awesome. All right. That was awesome. That was? That's crazy well, news. Not, I was not awesome. No, yeah. Well, you know what I mean. Like that, yeah. I'm not going to say that's awesome, but like he did a good job researching that. Yes. Okay. Yeah, that's good. On October 26th from 2 p.m. to 6 p.m., everyone's welcome to the Halloween Howl at Oak Ledge Park in Burlington, Vermont for free. Go and enjoy hay rides, haunted walks, do some fun arts and crafts. Get your face painted if you really want to, but that's just you. But there will be also plenty of fall food for sale. And also, remember to bring your costumes. So now, Good costumes only. Yeah, for sure. Now to funny news with Pesh. All right, so... <laughs> This isn't exactly funny news. Um, <laughs> we were, uh, but you know, but well, I suppose it's news in some. It's news. It's going to be news to us. Um, yeah, okay. Bring it on. Not gotcha. everybody yeah. at the table, but yeah. it's definitely going to be news to us. Uh, so what we ended up doing was researching. Well, we looked up funny news Germany. Uh, <laughs> and and what's good search up, engine? Yeah. Right. <laughs> was an uh, was an article about like strange. Uh, unique laws uh, that are like in effect in Germany um, okay. and I'm not sure how much of these are funny as much as interesting sometimes but I, I don't know they I think they're pretty funny I think they can be okay funny. Well, see. We'll see. See. Yeah. So, uh, number one uh, no pillows uh, pillows can be well obviously not no pillows but pillows can be considered a passive weapon in German law so if you're so in, uh, if you're, so what that means is it's like a valid a weapon, a weapon uh, <laughs> to be used for protecting yourself against another weapon. Pillow, like not like if you like fill the pillow with like butter or something, but like, no, no. With, like feathers and <laughs> of stuff. Of all things. <laughs> no, a normal pillow without uh -huh. anything like hard or dangerous in it uh -huh. is considered um, a passive weapon. So if you get attacked with someone, by someone and use a pillow in self-defense, it is considered using a weapon huh. against the other person. What about person. pillow on pillow, like a pillow <laughs> fight? Um, well, just that's a, make that's like sure you don't hit them too hard because <laughs> that, that could sense. actually lead to assault charges. No way. Wow. I mean, obviously no one's going to like, hopefully no one gets into a pillow fight and is like, yo, I'm taking you to court now. But... <laughs> That, that that is hmm. technically a possibility that huh. would go through. Um, well, it's so that's a weird, that's a weird one. <laughs> I know, right? But okay. <laughs> um, number two, this this is, I think, wild to me. This is completely wild to me. Chimney sweeps, right? What uh, is that? I don't know yeah, what okay. that is either. <laughs> right. I don't know what it is either. Yeah, none of you have seen Mary Poppins. Um, I was like, chimney sweeps yeah. are people that used to and still do uh, clean chimneys. Oh, um, right. They Fair take enough. like a like a like a like a strange broom yeah. thing and yeah. they mm -hmm. like shove it down and there like you go. get the soot out and all <laughs> like right. A, like a plunger. Yeah. A chimney plunger. Okay. Chimney, it's a chimney plunger. plunger. I think no, a chimney plunger. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like that's less like. Um, I don't know, authoritative. I, just, I, I don't know. I feel I, like that would be. I don't know. If I, I was called I a, chimney plunger, a chimney plunger, I'd take it. Okay. Some people might, though, actually. No, you're right about It'd that. It'd be pretty cool. <laughs> um, anyway, it's easier for a chimney sweep to get into your house than a police officer um, because there is a law in which you cannot deny access to your home uh, from a chimney sweep. 
uh, if a chimney sweep like huh. requests access to your house to sweep your chimney, you have to say yes. Um, you have to. Is uh, what you're apparently, saying. it was the, the law comes from the Middle Ages, right? Oh. So it's a really old law. I doubt, <laughs> okay. Okay. I doubt it's enforced hmm. anymore, but it is apparently still on the books. Technically, well, that's so weird. Well, what like about a, a chimney dude. sweep burglar? Yeah, no, that's what yeah, I'm thinking. Yeah, what if you're like, yo, hey, like someone shows up, looks really sketchy, oh. like I have this like dustpan and broom, I, I want to clean your Do chimney, you, like <laughs> you have to pay if you are the like the, the guy, does he like you have to pay him if he like comes to your house and says, I'm gonna chimney oh sweep my this? Gosh. That's such a good question. I wonder question. what chimney sweepers make an hour. Uh, well, that's I don't know. good pay. Well, could yeah. be good pay. If it's um, like a plumber, it's good pay. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, yeah. Oh, oh, wow. Okay. So it goes, okay, so it goes back to the purpose of the law. I'm, I'm sorry, I should have read this more fully. <laughs> it allows people, you to spy on people. That's actually what it was originally. So that becomes okay, less well, funny that there's like, just that's like the a law. That's creepy now. That's kind <laughs> of creepy. Now it is creepy. It's like All right. promoting stalking. I'm doing love. Promoting so, stalking. That's number two. <laughs> Let's go to number three, which is... Um, if you are speaking to a German police officer, uh, you don't want to mix your, um, don't know if I'm gonna pronounce this, do and see, say, see, something like that. Uh, the informal versus formal you, right? Oh. Um, and uh, if you use the informal you rather than the formal you, you can actually get a 600 euro no fine. No way. Um, which is euros. Well, yeah, no, I totally. Um, which just makes me think, like I had a police officer at my house the other day, like putting in like uh, a like do, a do what are those things? Why or no, like a jury, <laughs> a, one of those jury things or gotcha, whatever, gotcha, right? Gotcha. And um, uh, and I was like, "Yo, what's up, dude? Like, uh, how you doing?" So six hundred euros. Right yeah, exactly. There. Yeah. Right. Hey, what's up? Yeah. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> don't want to do that in Germany. I'm gonna do that. Um, yeah, that's pretty much it for this uh, this week's awesome. funny news. We got Thank a you. interesting, of things, interesting, very interesting. Very interesting. Yeah, yeah. that was good. And now we're gonna learn some German words. Gem and I will. Uh, We're going to attempt. Yeah, it won't be very good, but they're going to say some ger words in German, and we're going to try to pronounce them the best we can. Okay, okay. so I'm going to start with a short one. It's Eichhörnchen. Do you want to start with that? I know. That's short? Can we, can we hear yeah. that again? Yeah. Eichhörnchen. Eichhörnchen. That's actually pretty good. Yeah. Yeah. Eichhörnchen. 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 I shun shun. I shun that's, shun. that's pretty close. Yeah. Does it sound like they're saying the word with an American accent or just not saying the word at all? No, well, it's pretty close. He's not saying the word at all. <laughs> okay. He is. Yeah, that's pretty close. Well, I just yeah, got that's called really out. Good, so. <laughs> I got the next one. I got the next one. Okay, okay the next one is Streichholz Schächtelchen. <laughs> <laughs> you messed up, right? I heard tiger in there. Is that right? No, no. It's oh. basically just, just the matchbox. Oh, okay. Um, I don't need you to say that again. Streichholz Schächtelchen. <laughs> I feel like there's a, there's a spot in the in my mouth that's not there. It's not used to do that. Okay, I'm gonna need that one more time. Streichholz Schächtelchen. Nope, no, I messed it up already. <laughs> oh god, that's tough. Okay, that's tough. that that is a really tough one. Okay, you want to do the next one? Yeah, I I don't know. He, he did. <laughs> he did a good job, Nate. Okay, the next one? No, it's your turn. Yeah. Your turn. Oh, uh, which is, oh, it's Rührei. 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 No, Rührei. 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 Yeah, that's really good. Cool. It's basically Rührei. just scrambled eggs. Oh. Rührei. 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 That's close Rührei. enough to Rührei. 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 Yeah, yeah, I think a German would understand you when you say Rührei. Perfect. That's well, what I'm going for. Looks like we're good to go to Germany now. So. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Pretty much speak German. You say scrambled eggs. Yes. <laughs> you can say I want oh god, this one doesn't look good at all. Yeah. Okay. I'm not a fan of this next one. Okay, so the next one's gonna be very long. Oh god. Um, it's Aufmerksamkeitsdefizit Hyperaktivitätsstörung. And what wait, does that wait, mean exactly? Wait. That's one it's word? It's ADHD. Oh. I, oh, thought, so it's I thought you were still saying sentence. ADHD. Oh, like the unabbreviated? Yes, the yeah. unabbreviated. Okay, well, um, we're gonna need you to say that again. Maybe about four times. Aufmerksamkeitsdefizit, <laughs> Hyperaktivitätsstörung. Yeah, not a chance. Let's can we do like okay, one word at a time. Try to do each syllable. Yeah. One okay. word at a time. Okay, so Aufmerksamkeits. Aufmerksamkeits. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Defizit. Defizit. Hyper. Hyper. Aktivität. Aktivität. Störung. Störung. <laughs> <laughs> I thought that was pretty good. Brutal. I thought that was pretty yeah. good. 
bad. Not bad. Not bad. All right. Not bad. Is that all? Yeah. Is that all we got? All right. Perfect. <laughs> Did well, our best. <laughs> yes. If you guys want to come try to pronounce some, you might you don't want to. It's very hard. <laughs> <laughs> well, so that's all for today. And if you see the German exchange students around, say hello to them. They're Be friendly. friendly. Yeah. They don't bite. <laughs> Beautiful. Don't bite. Thank you. <laughs>